this is Phil Healy, the Public Access Coordinator for NORCAM, and you're listening to NORCAM Weekly, uh, the NORCAM podcast that tells you what's going on with NORCAM. That's North Reading's Public Access uh, Television Station. And with me, as always, is... Jason Smith, Government Access Coordinator. And hello, Jason. How are you doing? Pretty good. And we're actually getting this reported on a Friday. I know. <laughs> First time in two weeks? Two weeks. Yeah, the last two we, uh, we missed. Like, last week, it was just kind of a, a madhouse in here. Everyone was here. And the week before, I had to go, oh, yeah, graduation. graduation, and I wasn't even here. Like, so physically, I couldn't do it. But like I said on the last one, I'd love to bilocate and just try to, you know, kind of split off, have my atoms just kind of go one way, and one person here and one in New York. But uh, we actually, uh, there's, a lot of, there's a lot of stuff going on yeah. this week, actually. We, had, we covered a board of selectmen meeting that was kind of nuts. They talked about the Tennessee Pipeline yeah. and Kinder That's Morgan. Right. Yeah, it was, and everyone was uh, uh, pretty. The emotions ran high, to be to be fair, and to be uh, not to throw any expletives out there. But yeah, yeah, everyone uh, were they on their best behavior? I think so. Yeah, I mean, I wasn't there. It's, I just you know an emotional issue with a lot of people around here. I just understand it, but nobody was on the line. Not me. I hope we get three or four pipelines <laughs> running through. I just want oil everywhere. Thank you, or gas. I'm sorry. Either or, whatever destroys more things. I'm for. Uh, yeah, well, we ha- we also had a, a bit of an audio issue with uh, going live, but which we've rendered, we have indeed rendered uh, correct. We've actually, uh, we've corrected it. It was only for the live broadcast <coughs> Excuse me. that night. Yep. It wasn't for the recorded broadcast, so anything correct. on YouTube, anything going out, all these players would be fine. Yep. And that issue won't happen again. No, it won't, it won't happen it won't again. Happen. Very <laughs> mafioso. No, well, <laughs> yeah. you guys, we kind of fixed it all yesterday, actually. So. Well, yeah, this whole week we've been just kind of, even last week we had a little inkling of what was going on audio-wise, so we had to go in and adjust, uh, adjust it on the fly. But uh, So that's one of the bigger things. We actually got our new cameras today, which we didn't know when we were getting our new cameras, but we got them. We'll probably open open them up like Christmas mm-hmm. later today or... Who know, we we'll have a staff meeting where we just open up cameras, or like Monday next week, we'll see. They're sitting in the studio now, so um, we're excited. Now we got to sell the other ones on eBay, so or to uh, another buyer, so we'll see what happens. Recoup some of that. But some more exciting things, uh, NORCAM and non-NORCAM related, all depends how you look at it. Our neighbors, not the funeral director, but uh, our uh, neighbors at the library, Flint Memorial Library, they've sent us uh, an ambassador, a lovely ambassador, uh, a friend in Norcam. Uh, hello, Daniel Masterson. Hello. Nice to see you guys. Yeah, nice to see you Thank too. Thank you for having me. Oh, no problem. It's our, our pleasure. We uh, This gives us a great opportunity to just invite people on and just have them talk about the town and just a uh, relationship to, you know, us, I guess. So so what's going on uh, at the library? Oh, congrats on your new position, by the way. Thank you. I'm the uh, new youth services librarian, which means that I will be working with uh, kids from age babyhood all the way up to teens. Oh, wow. Which is uh, a really great range and uh, a great group of kids. Actually, let me adjust that mic for you a little bit. So, like, because I know you want to talk to both Jason and I, so I'll just yes. put that right there. I like to look at both of you. I'm sorry. <laughs> no, it's all right. I know. Jason is the looker of the bunch. But, um, you're both <laughs> yeah. lovely. Thank Aww. you. We both have a sheen to us. <laughs> But uh, no, no, that's great. I mean, I remember I actually met you uh, last week for a meeting discussing mm-hmm. uh, potential like NORCAM and uh, Flint Memorial Library stuff, and it was pretty exciting. It was pretty cool. Yeah, we have a lot of great ideas, and uh, <coughs> Phil had a ton of terrific ideas. We're really looking forward to... Two of which are feasible, so yes. we'll see. Yes. <laughs> We're really looking forward to partnering up with NORCAM yeah. and uh, really making this relationship work and have uh, a lot of great programs between the two buildings, and uh, I think it's going to be really great. Yeah, no, I think it would be really cool. And I, uh, mm-hmm. we've had stuff in the past, we've had a pretty good relationship as far as covering stuff. One of our, I think we've talked about it before on this uh, podcast, one of our members and uh, a cool member of uh, North Reading proper, Mark Meal, who yes. run, who's part of uh, the Senior Center, the Edith o- O'Leary Senior Center right across the street. We're all in like a triangle. Mm-hmm. But he helps cover a bunch of meetings, um, or not meetings per se, but just like activities or yeah. like events that happen to the library. Yeah, he does a lot of our like author talks and different things that we have. Um, a lot of the adult programs have been televised. Mm-hmm. And uh, we're hoping to have some more teen events that we can have you guys be involved with. 
um, because we're thinking about doing things like um, we had talked about book clubs and possibly doing some book clubs where we could have things online and um, on, on TV or on YouTube. And uh, we talked about maybe having a library podcast and um, so that, you know, we can guess, you know, I can come in and talk to you guys on your NORCAM podcast, but also do our own and we can have one like that. So, I mean, we really, um, I'm really excited. I, I have a whole bunch of ideas and I just want to get them all out there. So. No, it's yeah. up. And when you first start out, it's one of those things where you just want to keep going with yeah. it. But you gotta mm-hmm. you got to measure yourself first and be like, yeah. what can we really do? Mm-hmm. And then yeah. go from there. Mm-hmm. Um, but yeah, Jason and I were talking about that too the other day. Just uh, We also have kids who either or if someone, it, whichever place is closing first, like, oh, we'll mm-hmm. meet their parents at uh, either NorCam or the library. Right. So, yeah. <laughs> mm-hmm. yeah. Um, we actually have summer readings starting off. Oh, yeah, please. Yeah. Um, and hopefully, will this air before Monday? Will this be yeah, 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 yeah. It's a pretty um, quick turnaround. Okay, because we, um, we have on Monday night uh, an ice cream party, and we're doing something different this year. It will be, um, we're going to have two locations. We're going to have it start in the activity room, and kids will be able to register for the summer reading program and sign up there and get ice cream. And then go over um, to Dr. Falzone, who lives across oh, the street. Yeah. He's offering up his lawn. And oh, nice. we'll be able to um, hang out outside, which we've never been able to do before. That's pretty cool. He actually... So, uh, his, yeah, that, that sounds yeah. awesome. Actually, uh, a shout out to him as well. I know him from the CIT group with uh, Amy Luckowitz for youth substance abuse. Mm-hmm. But he also... He actually got in an accident recently. Uh, like yes. uh, Skateboarding, mm-hmm. I believe. Which mm-hmm. I forgot that he did. He broke his femur. Yeah, I know. Mm-hmm. And his daughter Celeste is actually uh, a member of the Norcam Video Production Club too. Mm-hmm. So, but he's always been a, a cool and nice uh, fellow to talk to. But that's awesome. Yeah, yeah. Mm-hmm. he's on the lawn. He's hoping that uh, he'll be uh, healthy enough to come out and visit. But if not, um, his wife and daughter will be able to hang out with us a little bit. Cool. And uh, we're excited to have two locations. And the police have been kind enough to come over and help us out with making sure everyone's safe and crossing safely. And uh, it's the first time that we've been able to actually go outdoors for uh, part of the summer reading kickoff. So that's really exciting. Um, and that's Monday. That's the 22nd. And then at what, what time does it begin? Uh, it starts at 5.30. 5.30. And uh, it'll run till 7, and people can drop in. You know, it's not like a, you have to be there the whole time. So if it's... You know, you eat dinner and it's 6.30 and you want to co- still run in and get some ice cream, you, by all means, you're welcome. You don't have to be there the whole time. Yeah. Um, so that's our kickoff. But we do have lots of fun stuff planned for the whole summer, um, all through the summer reading program. And uh, we're really excited about that. We went to all the schools and visited all the kids yeah. and talked to them about all the different programs we have planned. And Cool. What do you, uh, any you can name right now? Or? Oh, yeah. I have, um, I brought the calendars with me, Ooh. just in case, so I didn't yeah. forget anything oh, good, really good, cool good. and awesome. Yeah. Um, we have a preschool activity on July 7th, and it's the Superhero Training Academy, ah. which uh, will... A lot of radiation. It, it'll lot really of... help you uh, bring out your radiation <laughs> and the superhero within. Ah. So it's a little bit of both there. Oh, good, yeah. <laughs> And uh, we have uh, Kidstock, which is a theater company. Oh, cool. And they're coming in on uh, July 9th. And um, I'm really excited about this one. We, there's um, a charity called Comfort Dog. And uh, you, oh, can, you just hit the heart's turn right there. Yeah, yeah, there's this charming little golden retriever named Lydia. And she goes to different places and she helps people. And one of the things that she does is she goes to libraries in our area and little kids can read to her. Uh And it's so wonderful because little kids who, especially struggling readers, they may not feel comfortable reading to an adult or to their parents or even to a teacher, but there's something about reading to an animal that they just feel much more comfortable Mm -hmm. doing. So um, we have it online. They can register online and then contact me by email. We'll sign them up for uh, a time slot with Lydia. The kids Aww. will be able to just sit with Lydia's little head in, her la- in their laps and, 
and pet the dog and, and it'll be really nice. And Lydia's coming on July 14th and also um, in August, August 6th. She's oh, going to okay. be with us twice this summer. Nice. And hopefully um, we'll be able to get her back in the fall as well. Uh, is she local or? She is. I believe she's from Linfield. Okay, all right. Um, oh. It's through the Lutheran Church in this area. Oh, I think I might have met and or angered her somehow. Oh, no. Well, she did cut me off uh, oh. driving, but mm. it's just one of those things. I guess it can do? happen to the best of us, it even can. if we're a comfort dog. It was a comfort to me. That's how I find <laughs> comfort in unbridled hate. Um, no, but I think I did meet, because I think uh, one of the pastures from, once again, the CIT group, I think. Because, mm-hmm. uh, uh, yeah, I think it was a Lutheran church, I believe. Yeah, they actually have this program throughout the country. Yeah, oh, okay. And there's hundreds of these dogs. And a lot of times they're either golden retrievers or Labrador retrievers because oh. they have that kind of personality. And um, they they go to different um, after tragedies or different things. And um, but a lot of libraries have been able to pick up this program, and um, this is the first time we've been able to do it at Flint Memorial. Oh, that's awesome! And uh, I'm really excited about it. Yeah. Well, yeah. as as uh, as I know, I think Jason might know. Oh, uh, not oh maybe you don't because I remember you and I bonded slightly over uh, that we have Dachshunds. Yes. And uh, the wiener mm-hmm. dogs for yes. uh, the layman. Uh, mm-hmm. and, uh, yeah, like, as a dog person, yeah, this, you know, how can you not, reading to a dog seems adorable, and also, like, the kids who have no judgment, uh, or yes. anything, whatever, and, mm-hmm. well, have you, I mean, you've grown up with dogs, too, right, Jason, uh, I believe? Early on, yeah. you know, mm-hmm. when anybody got married, she didn't want dog, so. <laughs> Oh, yeah, you were telling me, yeah. Mm-hmm. Which is, it's coming up, Jason, it's coming up, for anyone who wants to know, get, uh, North Pam Jason a gift for this coming, uh, Labor Day weekend. <laughs> Uh, but no, that's not, that sounds amazing, and that is, uh, would you say, the 14th of July, or? Yep, 14th of July, and again on August 6th. Again on August 6th, oh wow. Yeah. And are those, uh, what, what uh, is that a Wednesday and a, It's uh, and July? a Tuesday, in, Tuesday July in July, and a Thursday. Oh, cool. And they're both in the afternoon, they're both uh, late afternoon programs, so 3.30 to 4.30. That's perfect, if a kid want, uh, parent wants to bring a kid down, or if the kid is with someone, you know, they can go with whoever. Yep. Mm-hmm. Summertime. And we have another uh, cool animal program. We have Creature Teacher. Oh, nice. And um, I'm not sure which animals he's bringing, but he has, like, this whole, like, ton Keep... of um, really neat, like, slate of animals that he brings oh, to different cool. places. And, um, like, chinchillas and different things. And... Well, I might actually <laughs> just stop on. I Because I am a big kid, pretty yeah. much, yeah. <laughs> I totally, it, it's an all ages program. Oh, well, mm-hmm. maybe there's something we can cover if we don't, you know. Yes. Yes, wow. I would Definitely. love to. Yeah. July 17th, 2 so, to 3. So, what, that, is a, that would be a Friday? or? That is a Friday afternoon. That's not that bad, actually. Mm-hmm. That's Lock during our down. podcast. Yeah. We can just do it from there. Yes. <laughs> Have the chinchilla come on and say something. <laughs> just like a. Yeah, yeah. Well, that was a little racy chinchilla. Well, if that's how you feel. Yeah. Right. Uh, yeah, no, that's uh, that sounds amazing, actually. Yeah. Yeah. So that's a uh, and no, oh, anything else or is there? Um, well, we have one other really cool program for July, and that is um, a author of Marvel comics named Dana Perkins is coming. I don't know. It. And he'll be here on July twenty fourth, and he writes um, Thor comics. Oh, okay. And um, he's going to teach older kids, um, this is like an upper elementary, um, right through to middle school, yeah. and um, like just comic book writing. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. So um, a lot of the kids, that, when we mentioned that at schools, they were really excited about that. Um, so those are kind of our biggies. Um, we have all of those events online. Um, one of my big things that I wanted to do when I started was to have... A calendar that we have upstairs in the library, but really important to me was to make sure that everything was online early yeah. so that people could go on. We've, um, I'm also the webmaster for the library's website, mm-hmm. so um, we have the mobile site, uh, we have the website set up, but then I also made it mobile and we have the mobile calendar. So all of this information is really accessible to everyone. So all of these events are already listed. I wanted it all on there before summer reading began. 
so that people could really plan. And if you were on vacation and you knew you were coming back, but, you know, it was going to be busy unpacking, whatever, you could look and go, oh, great, you know, I know something's at the library. I can drop the kids off for an hour and, you know, get some stuff done. So um, that was a real big priority to me. So when I first started, that was one of the first things I, I made sure was getting done. Oh, that's awesome. Yeah. It's just kind of like you have to, I think we were talking about in the meeting too um, last week, you have to kind of prepare for uh, just uh, people with devices and phones and just have it readily available. Yes. And it's really good, especially with enough time for people to know. Because, you know, whether you want to, the weekly wash or just kind of, either you want to call in a short attention span or just in general uh, the immediate gratification of knowing what's in front of you. Yeah, uh, yeah it, it's a good idea. And, uh, yeah, I'm glad you're dragging them. Uh, <laughs> they weren't too bad. I mean, they it's not like they were still working the abacus, but just dra dragging them into um, yeah. this kind of electronic age. Mm -hmm. So Yeah. A lot of it is just kind of, you know, I come from a technology background mm -hmm. where, um, you know, I've had a couple of different careers, and in each career I've held, I've always been kind of that tech person. You know, my dad had um, an Apple IIe that yeah. I was on when I was six. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> so, you know, like, I've been on a computer for years now, and just every time it was always very important to have technology as part of what I was doing. So it was almost kind of natural that, you know, that was a big part of what I was doing. And so for me, it's just kind of second nature to do all of that. And I think, you know, that's something that I came in and I was like, oh, all right, well, we'll just put that on the website. And it was like, oh, okay. <laughs> you <laughs> yeah, got great. it. Sure. Yeah, exactly. Go ahead, do it. <laughs> yeah. You know. No, that's important. Mm -hmm. That's good to go. And yeah, everyone at the library I enjoy. And I think they know my name's there now, which I don't know. Yes. Which is scary to me, yet it's nice, but it's, I also know, all right, so what did I, what I list am I on? What to say about you? When I told them <laughs> that I was, was very diplomatic. Here, when, I, yeah. when I told them I was coming here to talk to you, they all said, yeah. you like him. You like him? Just yeah. wait till he slips up. Then we got something real good on him. <laughs> but no, I, I do like everyone over there. And I, you know, uh, growing up with uh, teachers and around uh, librarians, I, one of my family... Uh, it wasn't my biological aunt, but like family aunt, you know, came around. She was a librarian. And uh, I, you know, she actually, because I'm a comic book uh, reader myself, and a bunch of other uh, assorted nerdery. But uh, she would always ask me certain things about, like, oh, what, what is this? You know, what, what can we bring in for this? And this was in high school, I think, too, when they were first starting to bring in graphic novels, as they call her comics. You don't have to really dress it up. Yeah. But uh, there is a distinction, kind of. But, yeah, I don't know. It's just, you know. Uh, say Sarah, but uh, yeah, no, uh, I've always enjoyed teachers, librarians, all that sort of thing. So, respect, and uh, I also think you know, as you know, we've talked numerous times, Jason, about how we're very similar. And Rob has said that to our executive director, you know, we're very much like the library. And in fact, like, you gotta make appointments too. Uh, and you come in here, we're here to not do it for you, we're here to, use, to show you the way and use yes. this equipment. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, exactly, exactly. Yeah. No late fees, but still, you know. Mm -hmm. Well, we don't have late fees either. Oh, okay. No oh, weird. late fees except on a DVD. Oh, uh, that makes sense. So, um, and the DVD is, you know, as long as you get it back, you can renew it. Mm -hmm. So you get a DVD for a week, and then you can renew it once. And if you um, are late, then you start accruing fines. Yeah. I, I always forget you guys do, like, uh, music and DVDs, right? Yeah, we have music, we have uh, music, CDs, and starting July 1st, we have this awesome program. Oh, we got something's going on. That the fire department is so excited about. <laughs> yeah, and that's a plug for the fire department. Yes. Yeah. Uh, we have this program called... Oh, yeah, yeah it's coming right up our street. We'll see. <laughs> We would normally any show would cut this, but you got it's gold, I think. It breathes life into it. But yeah, sorry, go ahead. Um, it's called Freegal. Freegal. And um, what this is is, uh, it, you can put it on your smartphone. You can get it on your computer, and all you need is a library card, and you can download five MP3s a week, oh. and they're yours to keep. 
It's oh, not a borrowing cool. service. Um, you can keep it. There's also probably going to be a streaming service. Wow. Um, I'm not sure what the streaming is involved yet. Yeah. Um, we'll probably have more information on that by Monday. That's still amazing. But, yes, you can yeah. keep the songs. So, cool. um, you know, it might take you a couple of weeks to download a whole album, but, I mean, yeah. it's free, and yeah. it's yours to keep. And yeah. it's great stuff because it's affiliated with Sony, so it's oh, okay. not like... Sony and BMG and all that stuff. Yeah, it's not like you're you're downloading stuff that's from a long time ago, and it's just stuff no one wants. It's yeah. music that's out now, that's current, that is popular. And cool. um, it's a really great service. So we're yeah. really excited to have that. And that starts July 1st with the fiscal year. Wow. So you guys are just, is it a, a, a service you're subscribing to? Or is it just they're, just they're opening it up to? Yep. It's a service that um, our trustees have subscribed to yeah. for the library. And um, it was... Put through, uh, I think, throughout the whole consortium, yeah. throughout the Merrimack Valley Consortium, which is what all the libraries in our area are a part of. Um, so every library should have it in this area. Mm -hmm. um, but we will be subscribing to it, and then we'll see how the circulation numbers are after a year if we'll be able to keep it. That's awesome. But yeah, it should be really great. And all you need is a library card. All you need is the card. Which and, is always free. Yeah. Correct? Yeah. And, you know, if you have um, if you have an iPhone, it has an app. And I'm sure they'll have an Android app as well. Yeah. And uh, you download them on there, put it on your computer, it goes right into your iTunes. That's awesome. Set, yeah. Good to go. Yeah, that's great. I mean, that's, uh, and it's always weird and fun to hear how a library is adapting and just accruing ways to get more, uh, connect people to media. Yes. More. Like, mm -hmm. I know I've heard, I think, Sharon and I think Helena, too, before mm -hmm. uh, uh, she stepped down or retired. Stepped down seems more like presidential or just something. <laughs> but, I mean, she was. To me, she kind of was. Mm -hmm. um, she was. Yeah, wasn't she? She really was. She was like a madam president. Of, She's very regal. She is very regal. Yes. Now, actually, we had, uh, there's, we, do the, we had done these things called Video of the Day. Now the kids do it with the North Ham, uh, Video Production Club. But we, we filmed one in the basement, and she was like, she didn't really ask questions. She's like, oh, okay. And then, <laughs> and then we showed it to her. She's like, oh, that was pretty funny. I'm like, oh, wow, that's pretty hip. Um, <laughs> but, uh, no, she was always very nice. But she brought up, I believe I was at a meeting, just how e-readers, you guys have a, a healthy yeah. dose of e-readers, too. Can you go mm -hmm. into that for a second? Or? Yeah, we have, um, we have an app called Overdrive, which you can put on your iPad and your iPhone and also on the iPad. I speak more in Apple because that's what I have. Sure, sure. Um, but it's also on Android as well. And uh, all you need is the library card. Uh, what's really cool is that you can have both uh, the Merrimack Valley, which is what we have, and the Flint Memorial is an Overdrive Advantage library. Mm -hmm. So we have a bigger selection than other Overdrive libraries. Cool. Uh, so we have a wide selection. That as a Massachusetts resident, you're also able to get a Boston Public e-card. And all you have to do is go online to the Boston Public Library site and apply for a Boston Public card. And then you can download books from Flint Memorial, which is an overdrive advantage. You can also get it um, through the Boston Public um, catalog. So you have both of these wide catalogs. You can read on your iPhone and your iPad or your other device. You can also read on your computer. Mm -hmm. And you can take them anywhere. So you're not only reading the physical books, we're also giving you the option to read on your devices. And um, I had this really great, because we have, um, the way that we're staffed, if someone's on vacation, we help each other out. So I'm usually on the fourth floor with the children, but... I was on the second floor in the reference desk yesterday because our reference librarian is on vacation. And this elderly man had of them in his 80s came in and he said, um, I have an iPad and I want to read on it, but I don't know how. <laughs> uh -huh. And I said, okay. And uh, he sat down and I took his iPad, I took his iPhone, and I installed 
overdrive on both of them. We went through his Facebook account yeah. <laughs> that he uses to talk to his grandson. That's adorable. <laughs> and, Very uh, connected. We went through the whole thing. He was telling me all about how he grew up in Woburn and he lived in Reading yeah. and North Reading. We're just talking back and forth. We got him set up through his library card and he was thrilled because now he can quote read on the elliptical. <laughs> and I was like, oh my god, you're so adorable. <laughs> and um by the time he left, we were both in love. He thought I was a doll. I thought he was adorable. Yeah. And we were both just thrilled because he was now able, he can check out books on both ways. So That is a beautiful moment. We, it, it was really great. Uh, <laughs> well, it's, I mean, the, the reason why I love the library and the people there, um, unlike Parks and Rec, who uh, the characters on that do not appreciate the library, <laughs> which is a fun, I'm sure you get a kick out of that every time you see uh, but um, the uh, what was it? Just uh, being here at Norcam Public Access, it has that same kind of uh, feeling when you teach someone how to, you know, oh, how do I do this? And we've had our share of uh, older men and women, and even young kids who, you know, who are inclined in many ways to have certain technological devices and and just uh, know how. And we can be like, oh, but you can do this. Like we can, you know, depending on who it is, we show how quickly we can do it or how to kind of operate a certain machine or whatever, and. It's just like, oh, I can do just that. I'm like, yeah, there you go. Yeah. And mm -hmm. uh, it's a beautiful feeling, and they, and they feel empowered. And yeah. you feel like, hey, you're just, you know, uh, teach a man to fish kind of deal. Yeah. And, uh, I don't know, it's, uh, it's always fun. And I'm just uh, glad uh, you guys are available. Is there, and I apologize if it's drawn on, but is there anything else you guys uh, have coming up that you wanted to mention? Or? No, um, just we're really, we're really thrilled about summer reading. Yeah. And um, I just, you know, I really want to get, across to everyone that um, they can come by the fourth floor and meet me anytime that mm -hmm. they want. Um, adults too, by all means, you're yeah. welcome on the fourth floor. Uh, we have lots of fun books. Yeah. <laughs> um, you know, one of the cool things about uh, children's literature and young adult literature is that it's not just for kids. And um, I mean that honestly because I'm reading a ton of teen literature right now and I love it. So, um, you know, by all means, everyone come by the library and visit us. And um, I'd love to meet everyone. I just started less than a month ago, and we're having a great time at the library. And, um, you know, we're really excited to be here. Um, and we hope the patrons are excited about all the stuff going on there, too. No, I mean, it sounds exciting. It sounds like yeah. a lot of fun. And it sounds like you, uh, you guys have put a lot into this. I mean, it seems like you always do, but it seems, you know. Glad to see there's uh, all this stuff going on. Yeah. Uh, yeah, that's important because this this town doesn't necessarily have, you know, I want to actually, like, there are a lot of fun things to do, like uh, like the park, and uh, there's a lot of natural things to do. But it isn't like a city. But um, right. you do what you can to pass the time, hopefully. You know. mm -hmm. I already have some fun stuff. You can just, for no, little to no money, just go, yeah. Yeah. Mm -hmm. cool. But, uh, yeah, thank you, Daniel. We'll keep we'll keep you here for a second as we go over yeah, some more. Oh, and what's the, uh, what's the website for Flint? It is flintmemoriallibrary.org, Ooh. and it's updated quite a bit. There's a menu bar on the top, uh, both kids and teens, and right now they don't have as much as I would like on there, but I am working on um, updating those as well. And um, on both pages, it's asking for volunteers of all ages. There's a volunteer application. So um, if anyone is looking to give back to the community and wants to volunteer, we would love to have you. Cool. No, likewise here. Um, we're, always, we're always looking for volunteers, either to cover events at the library or around town. In the summer, actually, um, yeah, there'll be some concerts going on, too, so we need volunteers for that. I think last uh, episode I mentioned, uh, I think, was Box for TV. It has a lot of interns, and they contacted me because we, I had uh, given them programming, they gave us programming concerning some sports events they covered. So that's kind of the cool thing about, you talk about the consort, uh, consortium of Merrimack Valley uh, libraries. We have kind of, sometimes, yeah. we have uh, good relationships with other uh, public access stations. Kind of pays off. But uh, yeah, Jason, anything in your neck of the woods? Uh, come back. Uh, I did just find a new show that I'm going to look to kind of get into the, uh, into the channel, uh, the Lighthouse Chronicle. Oh, weird. Yeah, it looks cool. It's yeah, like, yeah. you know, it's a weekly show, so it'll all, I'll be able to Oh, that's beautiful. And stuff. And so, uh, no, I'm looking forward to it. Um, let's see. That has everything from political to uh, finance, any, any array of like government-related topics. So. 
don't know. That's the big stuff on government right now. Um, Monday, dueling meetings. I don't know. Uh, school committee and selectmen. So, uh, we'll use that news. We'll have the audio fixed for oh, right. So, we'll have to do school committee on public and then selectmen on government channel, I believe. Oh. Uh, yeah, I believe, yeah. It looks like there's a couple of things. Sorry, I took. I was just giving a fo uh, camera to take a bunch of pictures. Every time I took a picture, someone's eye would shut. I was like, no. Uh, but yeah, no, that's not. That's a good deal, actually. I remember you saying you didn't have as much as you were thinking. Yeah, I uh, wanted to find something. And I like the fact that this oh, newer show is. Gonna if I can ask you, I'm sorry. Take the phone, all the phone, phone, and everything on the fritz. Yeah, I know. It's so weird. No, it's okay. I think it's just a buzz that people will get. Yeah, we I do it on my own podcast all the time. We have a phone, and we actually on this yeah, yeah. one, Jason had his phone. But I don't know where mine is. I never have my phone on me, be it my personal <laughs> or like the Norcam phone. No, but that sounds good. Government access, and there's a lot of stuff. Graduation, yeah. it's just about finished. We're gonna put that up on YouTube and on our channel. Uh, like we're talking about this uh, week's board selectman meeting with fixed audio. With fixed audio, well, the audio, yeah, in playback it's good, but at live, uh, yeah, that'll that should be all set. Uh, and our next meeting, I believe, is uh, Monday in that same room. Double, Double meeting. We're having another board of selectmen and another um, school committee. And uh, we'll see about that. And uh, we might have an old friend cover one of them, because I actually won't be able to make it. Yeah. I got to go, unfortunately, uh, to a wake. But uh, there is... Sorry, well, I mean, it's a person I took out, so I mean, it's, I have to be there at the show. I respect. Uh, it's all about gamemanship. Uh, but there's, uh, yeah, no, but uh, Chris uh, Resnick, our old, uh, or Chris McNeil, however he wants to be called, he'll be there covering, uh, I think, or Selectman, so it's like uh, the old team's back together. Uh, and, yeah, I'm trying to think, uh, there are a bunch of pe bunch of kids, a bunch of people covering stuff uh, this week, taking stuff out. It was great. A lot. In every day this week. Yeah. Like, so. well, we cut and did a couple classes. Um but uh, some new members coming in, so that's good. And we're still looking at doing um, like a, just a one week kind of summer uh, camp thing. Because you know sometimes the meetings kind of yes, they kind of yeah they spread out for a little bit. Yes, they do. Is the influx of kids from who got out of school? So yeah, and that's uh, anyone who wants to come down, just to come down, and you want to drop your kid off <laughs> to like <laughs> just let them do something. Uh, we can we can always have them here have. Uh, have them kind of hang out, teach them how to run the cameras, and, you know, do their own little show. And um, Norcam Video Production Club, usually during this time, we, uh, they still do stuff, but usually we just, we'll, like, every Tuesday we'll watch a movie, do something. I've actually shown them a bunch of Coen Brothers, oh, not a bunch, maybe two or three Coen Brothers movies, I think two. I think Barton Fink and Big Lebowski. Yeah, two different, very different films, but um, we'll see what the next one is. I think they want to see The Shining. So we'll see. Yeah, I know. <laughs> well, they're older kids. They're, they're like six, seven. Okay. They're like Danny's age in the film, so they know, they know what's going on. I'll tell them all about zero point perspective. Um, no, but that's always fun. That's always nice because they, you know, they get to see old, you know, older movies and stuff they don't think they've seen before. And like, wait, what's this? Black and white. But no, they yeah. they I get used saw to it. The shining until I was like, I saw the shining when I was like, I don't know. 30-something. Oh, really? Yeah. Yeah, it's a creepy movie, uh, yeah, to say the I least. Yeah, I was terrified, so I didn't want to <laughs> yeah. see it. I think I was probably like, I don't know, it was probably only a couple of years ago that I saw it. Really? Yeah. yeah. Well, I, it's been a while since I saw it, and one of the kids, Peter, was like, yeah, we still haven't seen The Shining yet. I'm like, all right, Peter, we'll see The Shining. <laughs> uh, it's like, you you, you want it. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Yeah. Yeah. Same. The Shining. Three weeks straight. Haven't seen The Shining. The Shining. All right. Well, you can do it yourself. Uh, but, uh, no, we I'm actually... We have it at the library. Yeah. Oh, do you? We do. I, actually, I might have to, if it's on Blu-ray, I might have to grab it from you, but... It or, might be. It oh, was wow. on the first floor because it was in a display called Famous Dads. <laughs> we have a bit of a sense of humor at the library. <laughs> well, you heard, oh, man, that's beautiful. That's beautiful. Well, yeah, one of my favorite uh, bits about hearing about that movie, um, uh, Kubrick, was that, you know, was he was, yeah, was it criticized for being too cynical or being hopeless. He says, what do you mean? I, in this, uh, you know, we postulate there's an afterlife. And it's like, well, you've got a point there. <laughs> mm -hmm. To him, um, but yeah, with, uh, and nothing else really. I mean, this was actually the longest episode, and for good cause. So, um, 
uh, yeah, like that's two it. Minutes. I had so much I mean, fun. It's just, yeah, it's a Thank fun you time. So much. Oh, no problem. Anytime you guys want to uh, pimp out, as they say, the uh, library, let us know. We'll be here. That'd be great. Yeah. I'm right next door. Oh, yeah, I'm yeah gonna you be are. By all the time. She'll be by all the time. There's no getting rid of her. We can't. No way. <laughs> there isn't. I'm just going to be like <laughs> knocking at the door. Hello. Come in, Danielle. <laughs> all right. Sounds great. Whatever. Um, no, but uh, it looks like a great lineup. And uh, check out Flint Memorial. Uh, dot org, I believe it is. Yes, it is. And uh, you can check us out at norcam.org, and you can find us on our, face our Facebook page and our YouTube channel, the Norcam One, which we've been getting a lot of traction with the third incident, the Max Headroom stuff. We still don't know. I don't even know if I should talk no, about well, it anymore, Technically, but... we, got, we got contacted by someone from the FCC who yeah. used to work during that period and who, you know, said, like, you know, watch out what you say. And we're like, all right, listen, we're, it's public access, yeah, buddy. I Calm down. Even, I don't know. I we had that VHS lying around here for a couple of weeks. Yeah. I don't know if you're a superstitious person or not. Yeah. I got you sound a little drunk there when you said that. Sorry, it's all right. Yeah, like, it's all right. You I'm can just chipping it back took it, a little. Put it back in the storage. I don't yeah. really want it in the station. I don't want to deal with this anymore. I I dig what you're saying. It just feels like a bad omen. Yeah. In so many ways, but you know, I'm not a, that superstitious. But I love horror flicks, so I mean, I know how this one ends. So we'll see. Someone's coming through something. We've opened a gate, but. Hopefully we'll close that door next time on our next NorCam Weekly. Thank you, everyone, for watching. Thank you, Danielle, for uh, coming on. Thank you very much for having me. Thank All right. you. All right. See you guys later.